Hello. Today's devotional can be found in the topical guide under Maintainer Maintenance in reference to Doctrine and Covenants, section 121, verse 41. No power or influence maintained by virtue of the priesthood. Okay, so the priesthood is not an excuse for men to dominate over women. The priesthood actually is the power and authority to act and speak in the name of God. And people who abuse the priesthood will have it taken away from them. There are people who abuse the priesthood. They think that the priesthood is licensed to exercise unrighteous dominion. <coughs> or they think the priesthood is a reason to treat a spouse and family terribly with the excuse that the priest that God has given them the priest do to exercise control and to serve as a leader that one must that everyone else must obey unconditionally priesthood is a leadership role yes but people still have their agency and they must come to their own revelations and they must be willing to accept the revelations they get in order for things to work out according to the will of the Lord. We cannot be afraid to learn and to grow. And the priesthood is, help, is to help us do that, but if it's used unrighteously, if the holders of the priesthood use it to abuse others and convince them to do things they may not be comfortable doing, well, God's not going to give his power and authority for that person to use his priesthood. Because he truly does, God truly does care about everyone and he will chasten those who abuse his powers in the name of exercising unrighteous dominion or hurting other people. The priesthood is supposed to be used in love. And of course, people do things wrong all the time, but we don't treat them like garbage. We reprimand them with love and compassion, with a reminder that they are still loved despite having imperfections. We cannot be afraid to love. We cannot be afraid to show love because it is by love that we invite the Spirit to dwell with us. And it is through the Spirit that we gain revelation. And people who aren't holding their priesthood properly or who don't fully believe in it may have trouble accepting revelation because their personal bias gets in the way of really accepting the will of the Lord. And so they say, that's not right for me. You're not. Then they treat it as a joke. And so they don't follow the revelation that they are given. And more people are hurt besides themselves. But the Lord provides for those who use the priesthood and everything connected to it righteously. And he also provides for those who support the priesthood through righteousness. God does not forget anybody. But we have to be wanting to be righteous and lovely and praiseworthy. Otherwise, really, we are telling God that we don't choose to partake in what he has to give us. And that's our choice. And it will be respected, but being on the outside 
is a lonely place. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.